All right, this is the motherboard. That square right there is where the CPU will go. It has a plastic holder in it right now to keep it covered. Daniel Medrano wanted to put the CPU in, so that's him placing the CPU in right there. The corner without pins has to line up with the corner without pins on both the CPU and the motherboard. I'm closing the latch on the CPU cover. It will push it down, make sure all the pins are connected, and also make sure that nothing will let the CPU slip out. Now we need to apply the heat sink paste to the top of the CPU. The heat sink paste is 99.9% .9 silver. It'll wick away most of the heat produced by the CPU, which is a lot. You need to put a drop about the size of a pea on top of the CPU, as you can see. And then you need to spread it into a very, very thin layer. As thin as you can get and as even as you can get covering every surface. You use something like a business card. Once you're done applying a very thin, even layer across the top of the CPU, you apply the heat sink and the CPU fan. The heat sink and the fan are used to make sure the CPU doesn't overheat. Sorry, that was my hair. Um, you can't see through my hair, but I'm pushing the pins down on each corner of the CPU fan so that they're attached to the motherboard. Once you're done pushing the pins down, you rotate them to lock them in. And that's it. Once you're done attaching the CPU, all you need to do is attach anything else that you want on there and put it into your computer.